it going guys? Uh, another supplemental episode from me, Dustin, at Eclectica Cafe. Uh, before we get into the supplemental episode, uh, remember we are on soundcloud.com slash eclectica cafe facebook.com slash eclectica cafe twitter at eclectica cafe you can find us on itunes on stitcher uh, on most podcast apps uh, we are there so please subscribe retweet uh reshare everything anything uh it all helps and we do appreciate every last one of you um, so this episode is quick response to last night's Oscars. Um, not going to go over the whole ceremony. Kind of irrelevant to our discussion. Uh, I am going to touch on a couple of points uh, based off of discussion and then a couple of points based off of uh, just us being generally nerdy. Um, so... I mean, with no further ado, here we go. Uh, best picture was Spotlight. I have, since we did our episode, Chance and I did our episode, I have seen this movie now. And it's good. I, I, it's, I can see why it was nominated for an Oscar. So I can, I can, I can, I'll, I'll see that it is a, uh, Oscar movie for sure. Um... I feel like there were probably better movies that could have gotten it, but I mean, if they're not going to give, uh, if they're not going to give Michael Keaton an Oscar for anything for the last two years, then at least a movie that he's in. I guess last year his movie won too. He just didn't win lead. Uh, so yeah, a good movie. It's about the the uh, early two thousands when the. Um, Catholic Church was under that scandal with all the pedophile priests and all that jazz. Um, so, I mean, super, super quality content, good movie based on real people, so I can understand that. Um, so, next round of Best Actor, Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. I, I told you in the discussion, I don't think what he did was necessarily worthy of an Oscar. I feel like, honestly, at least one of the snubs was better than him. Uh, that being Will Smith. Will Smith completely transformed into a different person. Uh, kind of Leo did too, but again, uh, he did you know a good chunk of this movie strapped to a board, not emoting at all. There was a, a couple of scenes where he had to emote, emote from the board, but for the most part, when he was on the board, he was on the board and he was furniture. He was background uh, noise. So... Kind of, kind of feel like that was a little political because he deserved it for other movies in the past that he didn't get it for. Um, so, I mean, take that as you will. Best Actress was Brie Larson in Room. Um, I'm really on the fence for this one. Uh, she did great. That movie was really good. Uh, it was a pretty unique story. Uh, very, uh, it's based on a book, but it's it's very unique in its vantage point. Um, not a lot of stuff deals with that issue from that point of view. Usually, when somebody's kidnapped, you're dealing with the family looking for the kidnapped person. You're dealing with the the aftermath of the kidnapping, which you get a little bit in here. But this is told through, uh, this is told through the lens of the little boy primarily and his mom, Joy. Which is funny because Jennifer Lawrence was nominated for Joy. To Best Supporting Actor. Uh, this was for Bridge of Spies, which I did not see, so I cannot speak to this. Um, though I can see why St Stallone didn't get it for uh, his, his role in Creed. Best Supporting Actress was Alicia Vikander in The Danish Girl. She did fantastic. She did fantastic in Ex Machina. So between the two of them, I feel like she should have got something. And she did. So that's awesome. Um, Rooney Mara, though, probably probably a better performance than Alicia Vikander in The Danish Girl. That's whatever. Um, so that's the big five. Those are the ones that everybody's up in arms about the snubs and blah, blah, blah. Um, one, one comment on the ceremony. Two comments, I guess. On the ceremony, uh, Chris Rock did not 
did not avoid making jokes about the snubs, did not avoid the whole hashtag Oscars so white situation. Uh, he did it rather humorously. Um, performance of Writing on the Wall by Sam Smith, his uh, James Bond theme that he sang was almost as bad as Adele's performance at the Grammys. Holy shit. Uh, something's going on with the sound guys at these giant award shows. Um, artists can't hear themselves sing. Um, so then, a couple personal notes. Um, Ex Machina won Best Visual Effects over Star Wars, which is really cool because Ex Machina was kind of like an indie, like really small budget kind of deal, and Star Wars was Star Wars. Uh, I kind of wish Star Wars had won that that award, but Ex Machina was definitely worthy of it because of the effects that they did on on uh, Alicia Vikander. And then uh, costume design went to Mad Max Fury Road. That's whatever. the 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 one comment I needed to make on costume design was uh, a movie that was also nominated was Cinderella and. The ballroom scene at the end of Cinderella was almost disturbing in the way the costumes were because the girl playing Cinderella, her waist goes from a normal person looking waist, at least through the through the movie. She's she's kind of a small person, she's really thin. But then she puts on this dress and it's like they had to CG her waist to be like six inches around. It was there's there's a lot to be said. There's probably a whole episode in that um, and how that affects uh, women's self identities and and what we deem beautiful and and it was I didn't find it attractive. I didn't find it beautiful at all. I found it disturbing and and unnecessary. Um, so yeah, real quick follow up with the Oscars since they did air last night and uh, I hope you guys appreciate the the point of view uh whether or not you agree disagree let me know in the comments section uh we do have an email address eclectica cafe at gmail.com um stay tuned also we will be doing uh we have a live chat event tomorrow hopefully i'll get this posted tonight otherwise it's tuesday march 1st and it will be on the youtube um we are also covering uh denver star fest this year and uh wizard con in las vegas um, and then in april we've got some really great interviews lined up so uh stay tuned for sure thanks for watching